I'm going to walk you through using HTML5 templates and JavaScript to create new content on a web page without any framework. So in this case we'll do a simple uh, message like that you might have, a message that would come up on a website. Um, so the first thing to know is HTML5 includes this template tag um, and templates are not rendered. So um, I'm going to give this a message to make it easier to grab. I'll call it message template. And then I can create um, my example message. And that can be anything I want it to be. Um, so I'll go ahead and put a header on there. And then maybe a paragraph inside of it. And then a button that closes the message. OK, pretty straightforward. Um, now on my web page, let's suppose that I wanted to have something that would show the, show the, uh, but the message. So I'm just going to put a button here for now. Um, show user a message. All right, and my goal is to make it so that I could let me actually just show two messages just for kicks. Say something nice. And say something not nice. Great. Two messages that will show up. Um, so my goal is going to be to fill in this template with the content of the two messages. Um, to do that, I'm going to want to create a function. So um, I could put it right on the onClick handler. And I could say, hey, show message. And then this might say something like, hello, and then it is nice to see you. And then this one might say something like, What are you doing here? All right, so now I've got a nice message and a not nice message. Um, now, the fact that I defined a function doesn't, or that I called a function, doesn't actually do anything. If I click these buttons, I'll see an error right away. Show message is not defined. That's not too surprising, since I have not defined anything. So my next step is going to be to go ahead and define a function called show message. And that message is going to take two arguments. I'm going to get the title and then the message itself. All right. And my goal is going to be to take the title and stick it into this H2 and take the message and stick it into this paragraph and then show this message. So, all right. First step is to grab the template. So the way I can do that is with the ID. So I'll just say query selector message template. And I'll save that. Now, the second step is to make a copy. I'll call it new message. And the template has a special property called content. And that will give me, so if this is the template tag, the content will give me this guy, the content of it. And I can then use this uh, method clone node, which will make a copy. Um, and the true says copy all the contents of the node too. So don't just copy class equals message, copy the H2 and all that goodness, good stuff. Cool. So that will get me the new message. And then the last thing I would do is add it to my elements. So um, I'm just going to make a container for my messages. I could just add it to the body, but it seems nice to put them in a container. So container and the append node lets you add things. So now I can just add the new message. So before I go further, 
Odds are I've made a typo somewhere here, but um, it's worth mess running this code um, to see if it works. All right, and sure enough, I've already made a mistake. And huh, simple mistake, I left an S out of show message. There we go. All right, next mistake is that append node. is not a thing. That's because it's called a pen child. Good job, me. All right. And that still hasn't reloaded. There it goes. Cool. Now my messages currently are empty, and I have no style on the template. Uh, maybe I'll just throw. something on there. Um, lovely. Now I can at least see I can see that I'm adding messages. So a little style. Beautiful. All right. And I fixed my one error. It's append child. So we appended a child and then the empty template. So the next step is to fill in the H2 and the P. And I'm going to put the title content in the H2. So I know there's an H2 in my message template. So I'm going to say message query selector H2. Text content equals title. And I'll do something very similar, but with the paragraph. Let's see. And once again, I've just messed up my variable names. Um, so I called the element new message. This is actually a um, good reminder. It might be good to call it something like new message div so that I remember this is actually an HTML element and that it's not a uh, piece of text. All right, beautiful. So let's try that new message div. All right, and now we are done nice say something not nice great last step would be to go ahead and connect that close button so there's my button and I can write a line here that would say new message div query selector button. I've only got one button, so I'll just query it that way. Um, save that as a close button. And I can add an event listener. Listen for the click. And I can say, okay, Target closest. Grab the message and remove it. All right. And once again, it's very hard to type anything without making a mistake. I got an error right away. And my error is going to be some kind of basic syntax error in my JavaScript because none of this compiled. Let's see what I left off.
maybe it was just a uh, code pen error because it looks fine. Perfect. So now each time I press a button, I add a template. And when I click OK, it goes away. All right, so key concepts here. How to create a template which never renders. How we grab the template with JavaScript. How we make a copy of it. And then how we could fill in content using JavaScript and close it. And now I have a simple way to add new buttons like this, show message. Um, Note it's also possible to make like a message that showed messages with this um, or never mind, all set.